Hello, to all the Technosavvy. This time, we will discuss another ICT lesson on identifying appropriate drawing tools and materials in accordance to illustration requirements. We will revisit what an illustration is. An illustration is a decoration, interpretation or visual explanation of a text, concept or process, designed for integration in published media, such as posters, flyers, magazines, books, teaching materials, animations, video games and films. Contemporary illustration uses a wide range of styles and techniques, including drawing, painting, printmaking, collage, montage, digital design, multimedia, 3D modeling. Depending on the purpose, illustration may be expressive, stylized, realistic or highly technical. Specialist areas include, architectural illustration, archaeological illustration, botanical illustration, concept art, fashion illustration, information graphics. Technical illustration, medical illustration, narrative illustration, picture books and scientific illustration. The elements of design are the building blocks of what a visual artist or graphic designer uses to make or graphic designer uses to make a successful composition. Graphic designers use the elements of design to create an image that can convey a certain mood. First is the color. It is typically known as hue. This word represents a specific color or light wavelength found in the color spec to yellow, green, blue and back to red. Did you know that each color represents different meaning in art? Red, passion, love, anger, orange, energy, happiness, vitality, yellow, happiness, hope, deceit, green, new beginnings, abundance, nature, blue, calm, responsible, sadness, pink, nurturing, playful, and nostalgic, purple, creativity, royalty, wealth, black, mystery, elegance, evil, gray, moody, conservative, formality, white, purity, cleanliness, virtue, brown, nature, wholesomeness, dependability, pan or beige, conservative, piety, dull, cream or ivory, calm, elegant, purity. Second element is the line. A line is a point in motion, with only one dimension, length. Line has both a position and a direction in space. The variables of line are, size, shape, position, size, shape, position, direction, number, interval and density. Points create lines, lines create shapes or planes and volume. Next is the mass. It is interchangeable with volume. A mass is a solid body or a grouping of visual elements, etc., that compose a solid form. Volume is a three-dimensional form comprising length, width, and depth. Three-dimensional forms contain points, vertices, lines, edges, and planes, surfaces. A mass is the two-dimensional appearance of a three-dimensional form. Another is movement, also known as motion. This element portrays the act or process of changing place or direction, orientation, and or position through the visual illustration of starting or stopping points, blurring of action, etc. This is not animation, although animation is an end product of movement, as well as other elements of design. Another element is the space. It is a two- or three-dimensional element defined by other elements of design. Positive space refers to the subject or areas of interest in an artwork, such as a person's face or figure in a portrait, the object figure in a portrait, the objects in a still life painting, or the trees in a landscape painting. While negative space is the background or the area that surrounds the subject of the work. Next is the texture. A technique used in two-dimensional design to replicate three-dimensional surfaces through various drawing and media techniques. On three-dimensional surfaces, it is experienced by touch or by visual experience. Next is the topography, also known as type, and it is considered an element in graphic design. Although it consists of elements of design, and in the form of visual communication. Last element is the value. Another word for the lightness or darkness of an area. Brightness measured in relationship to a graded scale from white to black. We will now proceed to the principle of design. 
Good design is possible without understanding the principles of design. But it may take a lot of trial and error to create something that both looks good and creates an optimal user experience. First is the balance. The elements of design converge to create a design converge to create a design or arrangement of parts that appear to be a whole with equilibrium. Next is contrast or the automatic principle. Whenever an element is placed within a format, contrast is created in the various elements. Can be emphasized with contrast in size, shape, color, texture, etc. Offers variety within a visual format. Another is the direction, which is used in utilizing movement to create the visual illusion of displacement. We have also the economy, a principle, especially important when dealing with clients, where their product or service is more important than the elaboration of design elements. Can also be considered precise, or simplistic. Or, it can be considered great design. Next is the emphasis. Also known as dominant condition exists when an element or elements within a visual format contain a hierarchy of visual importance. Another is proportion, a two- or three-dimensional element defined by other elements of design. Another significant, another significant principle is the rhythm. A recurrence or repetition of one or more elements within a visual format, creating harmony. Last principle is the unity. Oneness, harmony, gestalt. The condition of completeness with the use of all visual elements within a format. The principles of design are a set of rules that designers can follow when creating a composition to create visually pleasing work. The purpose of these rules is to deliver a message in the most organized and functional way.